If you are watching our channel, you're interested in self-improvement and becoming the best version of yourself. Becoming a high value man is always the goal and end product of this process. Many guys tend to overcomplicate this, but we are here to simplify it. If you've ever done anything competitive in your life, whether it's playing chess, a sport, or competitively in a video game, you'll know that becoming better than average, becoming a top 20% player, is not impossible by any means. It just takes a growth mindset and shedding of any self-victimization and blaming others or circumstances. Taking inventory. When you begin the process of becoming a high value man, the first thing we tend to do is take inventory of what we have going for us and what needs improvement. Some things are easy enough to fix. If you're overweight, there's a clear path towards improvement. But if you're short, it's statistically working against you and you'll have to make up for it in other arenas. The goal here is to be objective and not lie to yourself, but be judgment free and don't feel sorry for yourself either. It's the only way to truly make progress. What makes a high value man? The internet will have you believe the only thing that constitutes being a high value man is being a 6'5 ripped millionaire. Contrary to what you've read on the internet, this is in no way reflective of the real world. Here is how we define a high value man. Aesthetics. While we don't think looks are solely what makes a high value man, we will never doubt its importance. You want a beautiful partner and obviously your partner does too. Our entire channel is almost entirely dedicated to the process of upgrading yourself physically. So we won't go too in depth here, but just know that you need to cover the following bases. Number one, fitness. Your body is the foundation of your attractiveness. Keeping a regular fitness routine and having a good diet is paramount in being an aesthetic guy. Number two, grooming. Being well groomed is extremely important. This includes things such as regular haircuts, trimming of unruly body hair, keeping your fingernails clean and always smelling good, and many more. We have a lot of videos on grooming. Number three, skincare. Having a well thought out skincare routine that keeps your face looking hydrated, clear and youthful is very important. Number four, style. Having your own personal style with the way you dress is also an extremely attractive and high value trait. It demonstrates thoughtfulness and good taste, which are both highly attractive. How aesthetic and good looking you are might get you through the door, but what keeps you there is your ambitions as a man. Having a clear set path of where you want to go in terms of career is extremely important. If you're not in school or don't have a career, it's time to map out a way to get back into the game. If you're in school, it's time to really think about what you want to do with your life and find a viable path forward. If you're in a career that you're not happy with, either make a change or go back to school. It's never too late. Personality. No one wants to be around someone that is boring or a drag to be around no matter how hot they might be. Having a good personality isn't about changing yourself completely or being a nice guy or an alpha male. It's about being your authentic self and being a confident and moral person, but not being a doormat. Knowing how to have fun, not taking yourself too seriously and always lifting up those is paramount to having a good personality. As you go through your self-improvement journey, a lot of the confidence that you require will come naturally. Utility. A high value man is a man that is useful. If you don't know how to drive or do your own laundry or cook for yourself, you're still basically a boy. Think of your father or grandfather. These were men with a lot of utility. If your car needed fixing or if you had any mechanical problems, you could go to the bedrock that were these men. Becoming a high utility man means mastering taking care of yourself and your environment first. Then you'll be able to take care of others. Hobbies. Having hobbies is paramount to being a well-rounded, high-value human being in general. Having something that you could do with your friends or yourself if need be and developing a skill in it over time is an important part of growing as a person. It's also super attractive when a guy has a hobby he cares about and isn't just sitting around the house all day. Some of my hobbies that I'd like to include and suggest for you are martial arts. This includes things such as Muay Thai, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and boxing. Sports, snowboarding, skateboarding, soccer, and basketball are all great hobbies. If you're more creative, things such as writing, painting, and even video editing. This very channel was started as a hobby of mine. Start with one and dedicate an hour a day to it and you'll be surprised where you'll be in a year.